The Department of Energy's Waste Isolation Pilot Plant is the nation's only deep geological repository for defense-generated transuranic waste. We have been working hard over the last few years in recovering the facilities and are focused on restarting waste and placement operations. We've had great support from our community, our regulators, and the Office of Environmental Management. We are installing a rigorous discipline process in which our employees are excited and enthusiastic about getting back to work. I am proud of the work they do and the dedication we all have and look forward to restarting the facility safely and when we are ready to do so. WIP provides a unique service for our nation. Everyone here is doing their best to ensure that WIP will reopen a better and safer facility. It's been a very rewarding job. When I started in 2014, WIP Radcon were working under changed conditions. Airborne, surface, and fixed contamination was a newer component in the department. It's remarkable how well our team, craft and management, has handled this transition. The radiological training department has been overhauled and fully upgraded. It's an exciting time with cold starts just around the corner. Today's a really great day at the website. Behind me, we're removing the last pieces of the old ductwork at our 860 fan, getting ready for the tie-in tomorrow of our new duct pieces to tie in the interim ventilation system. This will allow us to increase the capability of airflow in our underground to about 54,000 cubic feet a minute above our current 60,000. That allows us to bring in more people into the underground as well as equipment to bring it back to the standards we're used to and gets us one step closer to cold operations and one step closer to waste and waste. The WIP Emergency Manager Program has undergone significant improvements since the events in 2014. Emergency preparedness continues to be a high priority, which includes refining emergency plans and procedures, and the implementation of a comprehensive drill and exercise program. A new state-of-the-art WIP Emergency Operations Center, located in Carlsbad, New Mexico, offers enhanced technology and information sharing capabilities. New firefighting equipment, fire suppression systems, and a new emergency underground notification system it greatly improves our emergency response efforts. And the WIP team is more prepared than ever to respond to any event to protect our workforce, the public, and the environment. The WIP recovery project is going extremely well. In the upcoming weeks and months, we expect to receive approval and implement our revised documented safety analysis. The interim ventilation system will be turned over to operations and will essentially double the existing ventilation flow in the underground. Coal operations will be performed, which will allow our waste handling operators to practice downloading waste into the underground using empty containers. This will ensure our procedures are adequate and our equipment is functioning properly. Following cold operations, we will conduct a series of readiness reviews. These include a management self-assessment, a contractor operational readiness review, followed by a DOE operational readiness review. The WIP recovery effort has been a long and disciplined process, and we are finally able to see the finish line. Over a period of several weeks, our crews will perform full evolutions of the waste handling process. We'll offload dunnage containers from arriving shipments. We'll transport the containers underground to a simulated radiological buffer area, where a second waste handling crew in protective clothing and respirators will emplace the containers in a mock-up disposal area. Our crews will be able to demonstrate what we do best, and we're looking forward to it. We have learned a lot at WIP. Over the past year, we have had the opportunity to work with nuclear safety specialists from around the country to improve our safety management programs. This has enabled our workforce to become better trained and equipped to resume waste emplacement operations, with safety leading the way.